Welcome back, folks, one and all, to Let's Play Quest for Glory 1. When last of it left off, we were inside the castle, but we decided to step out and uh, look elsewhere for other things, because, let's be honest, he wasn't going to be able to teach us, the Weapon Master in there wasn't going to teach us anything, and we had already finished the work in the stable. It is mid-afternoon on day two. So, let us go. Ah! Now this figure we haven't talked to yet. What's in it for me? If you got silver, I might have the information you can use. Now this dude, if I recall correctly, is someone you don't want to fuck with. Let's give him two gold. Okay, what do you want to know? Let's talk about Baba Yaga. She's an ugly hag who lives in the in that weird house of known who knows of some magic. A place and is due west of the Baron's place. Can't miss it. And for two gold, I'll tell you how to get into the hut. Um Thieves Guild. We need this. They had and they hid it in the graveyard. It's under one of the tombstones. You might see the thieves if you go there at night. Cemetery. It's due west of town. Nice place to visit, but you wouldn't want to stay there, if you know what I mean. The password. The thieves' password? Sorry, can't risk losing my thieves' license. Chief wouldn't like it if I blabbed it to the likes of you. Chief. He's the only one in this valley who can beat me at daggers. And he isn't wrong. Sheriff. The sheriff and his goon are pals. Otto even lives with the sheriff and his wife. Makes me think that the wife is probably a goon herself. Crusher. He's a pal of mine. He usually hangs out in the bar. Real sweet guy. Give him a slap on the back for me. Somehow I doubt that that's a good thing. Dragon's Breath. Everyone loves Dragon's Breath. Also something else I highly doubt. Let's uh, ask him something else. Let us talk about the Baron. You just uh, take the north road north from here past the healer's hut and you can get you to, the, to his castle. Monsters. Lots of monsters in the valley. Most of them are wimps, though. Antwerps. <laughs> yeah, the Antwerps are a good monster for you to fight. It loves to play. Goblins. Little pests just are just northwest of the cemetery. A bunch of wimps. Eh, not entirely wrong. He's some kind of magic user. And he laughs a lot. That's all I know. Okay, mm, Yaga's hut. I've seen her one time yelling at the hut. Hut of Brown, now is it down? That's one spooky name, let me tell you. Healer. She's got some good potions. Her hut's just to the north of here. The Thieves Guild. I already told you where it was, so why are you asking me again? I'm just going to freaking tell you the same thing. I don't like you, boy. Let us, uh, name. Just call me Bruno. Yes, uh, Bruno is, uh, he is a very scary man. Now, I'm going to save because, uh, I want to see if I can do something to provoke him. Just to give you guys an idea of just how mean this dude is. If you want a good time, try the dragon's breath at the bar. Okay. I don't think that was intended. Let's go back out. Okay, that was weird. Let's attack him again. There we go. Your figure remained still and silent. 
It takes too long for you to draw a weapon against somebody with a dagger in his hand. It doesn't pay to try and fight someone who's using poison daggers either. Yeah, that's what happens when you pick a fight with him. So, let us not pick a fight with him and go in town. If you want to have a good time, try the dragon's breath at the bar. Alright. Well, now we know a few things. Things that we didn't quite know before. So let's go this way. Let's go inside the tavern. And see if we can talk to him. Let's talk to, uh, Crusher. Let's see. Can we get him to open up? Oh, yeah. What's the password? Thieves Guild. What's the password? Akbar. Akthu Lieber? Schweinhund? No, no, no. Rangold? Antwerp? Redosaurus? Deutschmark? Hmm. Let's see what happens. As you ask, I mean, as you ask him questions, the goon's eyes darken. Thieves Guild was the password. Actor Lieber. Uh oh. Looks like you got um, Crusher uh, um, upset. <laughs> well, that obviously wasn't the password. <laughs> that actually hurt us. I'm not sure. Uh, let me look. Um, yes, actually, that hurt us a lot. Ow. Okay. Fair enough. Let's, uh, let us not provoke that um, issue again. Let's go back in. Let's talk to him again. Thieves Guild. What's the password? Schweinhund. Seems to be ignoring you. Nope. Wasn't that one. Who's the password? Antwerp. His eyes grow dark. What's the password? Um, Rangold. Uh-oh. Now, I'm wondering. I've never attempted this more than, one, more than twice. I usually interpreted it as a sign that I probably shouldn't piss him off, but I'm actually curious. Can you get killed by him repeatedly throwing you out of out of the tavern? I'm gonna save and uh, see if that is possible. No, wait, no, it is in fact LP five. What am I doing? Save that again. Let's talk to him again. Thieves Guild. Uh, it's Deutschmarks. Seems to be ignoring. What's the password? Purple Saurus. His eyes grow darken. Yes. Until you actually have the password, you can't just guess it. This game was very designed was designed pretty intelligently when it came to that. You can't actually just guess the password. You need to have it. We just continuously piss him off. Ow. Let's double check. Did we actually take damage? Oh yeah, no. We we keep doing this, we're gonna die. So let's uh let's not do that. In fact, let's go back let's go to our um, inventory and uh use the he one of the healing potions. Goes down. The drink soothes as it goes down. Good! We have three empty flasks. It actually gives you a flask when you use one of those. There is one thing I do want to show off. Behold, you delicately insert the lockpick into your left nostril. The Surgeon General warns. 
Unfortunately, you push it too far, causing yourself a cerebral hemorrhage. Guess, it, guess you should have uh, been practicing on less difficult locks. Yes, yes, folks. You can, in fact, heal yourself with your own lockpick. I laughed. <laughs> when my brother did it the first time, I laughed my ass off because he did not expect that to happen. And I was the one that suggested to him to do it. He was so livid. But it was okay because he had just saved. Restore. Much like we just did. So let's go back over this way and not pick our nose with our lockpick. Let's go this way. Let's see. Did that? How much of that time did that take us? Mid afternoon didn't take us at all. Well, that long at all. Yeah. Okay. Let's go this way. Now, if if Bruno was correct, we need to go a little east, a little further east past town, to find the graveyard. It's probably a good idea to, uh, to you know, spot it um, now during the day than it would be, you know, at night. Because I don't know about you. Seems like it would be, you know, a bad time overall to do that. Nope. Leave me alone, bandit. There we go. This must be the town graveyard. What a rundown place. It's certainly creepy even during the daylight hours. There's a large stone you are facing has been engraved with this message. Here lies Lester Moore, gored six times by a wild boar. No less, no more. Nothing grows in the dirt of this old graveyard. Some of the graves appear to have been disturbed. A large tombstone seems to have a barely readable, a uh, barely legible epitaph. Here lies an atheist, all dressed up and nowhere to go. Growing up out of the graves is an evil-looking plant with slime with slimy poisonous sheen. Now, if I recall, I think we can actually gather the stuff on that plant. It does not work. It does not work. Let's go grab it. And this is where we die. We wrench the mandrake plant from uh, free from the tombstone. Um, you wrench the mandrake plant free from the tombstone, which is gross. Somehow, you thought it would be a lot harder. I wonder if you did it right. The root shrivels and twists in your hands until nothing's left. Astonishingly, you're left with empty hands. Nope, you did not, in fact, collect it properly. Let us check. The grate um, seems clearly rusted shut. You won't be able to open it. If I recall, click without. Massive grate covers a hole, keeping you from seeing the bottom. Yes. So we've killed that mandrake root for the day, meaning we can't harvest it. So let's go this way instead. Let's keep going. And we're back here. Let's go back up. Let's go up this way. And this way. Come on. Uh, sometimes it... You just can't, you know, click on it properly to get it to move. Oh, hello. Oh, I, I recall this puzzle. At least, you know, that it was here. Or, you know, that it was a thing rather than anything else. I'm gonna save. Let's see what I can do. Let's talk. You hear squeaking muttered from beneath the ground. It seems like the meep, it seems the meeps have been uh, having quite a discussion about you. Bling the rock. Hiya, hiya. Pleased to meet ya. Hello. What are you? We are happy meeps, living, uh, living in our happy holes. Don't worry. Be happy. Rocks. We use rocks for doors. They keep us dry and warm in our holes. Holes? We like living in tunnels under the ground, you know. 
fur. Hey, I like fur is good stuff. Keeps us warm. Mine's the best. It's like green, you know. Green fur. Oh, you want some green fur? I think I have some somewhere. And he proceeds to rip some off. Brigands. Gee, boss, I really don't know much about that. Hey, sorry. Magic. I found a scroll lying around in the woods one day. You want it? It's yours. Ooh. Jumps down the hole and produces a scroll. Let us go and uh, pick up the... Oh. And now they run away. You pick up the spell scroll. As the magic runes fade, you find that you now know how to cast the detect magic scroll. Uh, spell. And now they do their thing. And now let's go pick up the meat fur. Hello. You pick up the green fur. Well, that was handy. And they are very friendly creatures. So, there is that. Saving once again. I'll just go this way. Hi, Meeps. Thank you for your stuff. Let us go here. And here. And, of course, we're back here. So, let's go down. And there is, in fact, the white stag. I've always wondered, can you actually, you know, do something? Everything must have been bolted down somehow. Okay, yeah, so you can't actually use that. At least not here. Let's go over this way. Oh. Hello. You pick up a few small rocks. Oh. Well, that happened. Moving on. And the antwerp has returned. Let us see if we can play with the antwerp. Or give it food or something. Let's see. Let's befriend it. It does not work. Let's go touch it. You bravely attack the bouncing beast with your bare hands. There is no response to your spell. And let's see if this... You detect no magic here. I don't know, I think that's pretty magical. I'm gonna see if I can attack it with the dagger. Cockily, you loosen up for him um, to fight. Dance! Dance for the amusement of the Antwerp! Confident and loose, you approach the Antwerp. Holy mackerel! I think we need to move. We need to move. We need to move. We need to move. Run away! Oh! There's no point in trying to use one of the uh, one of those right there. No, run, you fool! Squeeze. Trounced by a bounce. You're obviously in no shape to continue this game. Restore, reload. All right. Let us not fight the. Uh... Oh, I picked up the green fur. Cool. Let's let's not fight the antwerp. Fighting the antwerp is. Uh... Not a good thing. It is not a good thing. Not at all. Alright, let's go back up this way. I think we just did a giant loop, but we're gonna go up anyway, because why not?
Goblin has a mean look in its eyes. You prepare for battle. You should probably run. Run, flee! Yeah, we need to run. We need to leave. Run! Scarper! Scarper away! The centaur stopped breaking as you whiz by at the speed of sound. Run away! Alright, so let's actually... Well, for starts, let's switch our walk mode because we don't need to be doing that. I believe, if I recall, she gives us um she gives us money for the um for the things. Well, what can I do for you this time? I believe, my dear, she will let us actually access our inventory. You can in fact give us money for these. These are very nice. I'll dry them and grind them into a powder. Okay, so we've got seven gold and two silver. Let's see if she's actually giving us money for it. Oh, whoops. Oh. We gave her all of them. Whoops. Okay, well, there's that. Let us leave before the handsy maid gets handsy again. All right. Alright, so there's that. Let's keep going this way. Yeah, there's a lot of things I don't quite recall about this game. Because, like I said, it's been it's been years. Almost a you know, couple of decades. So at this point, we'll uh we'll take it for what it is and uh keep going forward. Oh, Hello. Far from the frost fields fares forth this fighter. Hunger has hurled me hither from home. My name is known in the Northlands as Barogi. I'm Barogi. Barter with blades clash or bargain with me. Oh boy. This dude. He's crazy. Let's see if we can give him the hair. The giant looks at you with disgust. Apparently, you're, you did not offer what he desires. Now, we could just fight him. We will die horribly, but we can, in fact, fight him. Add this healing potion. Nope. Let us leave you alone, because I don't feel like fighting you. Because we will die horribly. Keep running! Run that way! Nope. Oh, hostile intent is evident in this. I mean, is evident. You prepare for battle. Uh oh. I'm dead. Restore! Okay, so that happened. Let us leave. Not get involved in the battle with the goblins. And we can go save in town. Let some time pass and uh, go do some uh, stuff. Oh, found the graveyard. Let's leave. We don't need to be here. Nope, other way. Keep going this way. Eventually we'll figure it out. Run. Hey, stop, hey. 
Someone threw it past her. Oh, that was a source. No way. Alright. Let us go back into town. And, oh look. It's actually late enough in the day to where he's not here. The pair is not here. It is sunset on day two. And with that, we will save it for next time. For when we come back, folks, I will be able to um, show you what we can do when the sun goes down. As thieves should. Next time, Until next time, folks, I will see you then. Later.